Hey YouTube, Gallagher123123 back with another iOS 16 video. And in this one, we're going to take a look at the changes to focus, and in particular, focus filters, which is the big new feature in focus. Now you may remember that focus was introduced last year with iOS 15, and that it was one of my favorite features pretty much a big do not disturb overhaul. Of course, do not disturb being a very big feature when it was introduced all the way back in iOS 6 back in 2012. But Focus took that to the next level and really upgraded it. Well, it gets even better with iOS 16. So let's go ahead and take a look. Social folk, travel folk, settings. Okay, I found settings. I'll double tap to open it. By the way, the settings. voice I am using for this video is Zoe Enhanced. So if you're curious, you can go ahead and try her out. Cellular. But now I'm going to use Explore by Touch to find focus. Personal hotspot. Notifications. Sounds and haptics. Focus. Button. And there is focus. I'll double tap. Do not disturb. Button. Now, there are a few controls at the bottom of the screen that I will show you first or I'll describe them. Share across devices. On. There's your Double switch for share setting. across devices. I just used Explore by Touch to find that, but you could flick to it as well if you find that easier. And there is a focus status, on. A focus button. status button. Share across devices. That, as it implies, would make it that if you turn on a focus on your phone, that same focus would turn on on your iPad or on your Mac so it synchronizes everything so pretty self-explanatory now this other button focus status on. focus what? status that allows apps to know that you have a focus enabled it could notify people that you're trying that try to contact you that you have notifications silenced double tapping on this button share focus status switch button on. there's a double master switch for turning it on or off and you have your list of all your focuses focus, focus, so you can set each one individually. Focus. You could do that in 15 focus too, on. but in 15 you had to do it when you go into each individual focus there was an option for it. So it's a slightly different interface but it's still here. All right let's get into looking at a focus. I have created a very plain focus just called demo. Demo. So button. there it is. I just use Explore by Touch and I found it right away. I'll demo double tap focus. to activate. Oh. And here we are in the demo focus. Edit. Button. So there's the button, of course, where we could edit the title and the icon. Allow notifications. Button. And this is pretty standard as it was before. We can notifications from selected people and apps will be allowed. pick All notifications will be from people or apps. People. Allowed. And what? we can have no, pick people apps, or apps. Now, if we go into people silence real quick, from. we now have an option to silence notifications from or allow notifications from. allow notifications from. Allow notifications from is how it behaved in 15. That allows you to make an allow list of people or apps that you want notifications from. Whereas silence notifications from. the silence what? from lets you pick things that you want to be silenced, but have everything else come through. So you now have that option. So flicking we then go people. to the add what? people button, which allows you to select from your contacts of who you want to add into be allowed on this focus. Phone calls. Now we have the options for phone calls, including whether or not we want to allow calls from anyone outside of the focus. Allowed, so allowed people only. Everybody. We have it what? right now set to allowed people only. So using your focus list, you can have everyone. Select favorites. Button. Favorites. Contacts only. Contacts Contact only. Family. Or a contact Con group. Selected. Allowed people only. Button. Leave this on allowed people allowed only. Calls. And then Switch we have buttons. the option for repeated calls, That's which has been there before. Demo, demo focus. Demo focus. For apps, apps, we have the same controls. Button. Options. Except, button. of course, one for time sensitive notifications. So that Apps, is options, that. Button. Options, we can pick whether or not we want the screen to be dimmed and 
A lot of the usual options that have been here since 15. Customize screens. Button. And similar for customized screens, except choose now screen screen. we can choose Button. our lock screen as well. And if we go in here, Button. you'll see Done. that. Choose a, create a new lock screen. Pick a lock screen from the gallery. All of our lock screens that we've choose created are screen. here. Is wallpaper. Button. Astronomy wallpaper. Weather wallpaper. Button. Color gradient. Button. Now, if you want to learn lock more button. about button. the lock button. screens, I would encourage you to see Focus. my video button. on that. It's a very lengthy video, but it really goes in great detail on how to customize the lock screen in iOS 16. Turn on automatically. Okay, now we have the options for turning on automatically. These have been have this focus turn on here automatic. before. Smart activation. Add schedule. So Button. we can do a smart activation or a schedule. Add focus filters. Button. But here we go. Focus filters. This is the new option in iOS 16. So we'll let Zoe read Customize about this. how your apps and device behave when this focus is on. Focus filters help you remove distractions from apps when the focus is on. Add filter. Button. So it allows you to remove distractions within apps. Delete focus. Of Button. course, we could delete the focus, but let's go back up focus to filters help you the focus filters, the focus is on. Add filter. Button. and we'll add a filter. So let's double tap. Cancel. Button. Focus filters. Button. And we have several options here. App filters. Add a filter. Customize apps during demo focus. Selected apps will be notified when this focus turns on or off. And it says that the apps will be notified that your focus on or off. Allendor. Filter calibers. Button. Now we have some apps that have filtering available. So there's calendar, mail, filter, mail messages, messages, safari. safari. Button. Now we'll take mail. Mes mail, filter inboxes. Button. And that allows you to filter inboxes so you only see the mailboxes that you select to see in here. Focus so if we go in here, mail. Set mail focus filter. We can set our mail focus filter. Accounts. Button. And we can choose account. College button. So let's say I was using this demo focus for school, and I just wanted to see my college inbox. Selected college. We've just selected it. So now in mail, we will only see my account, my college email account. Home button. And we could add a second or third Friendly. or all accounts I here really. Mailing list. Public but button. To keep it simple, we'll just say that we want to see the college I, account. Oh, set, accounts. Set mail folk, mail. Add button. And when we're done, we'll just say add. Focus. And add there we go. Smart activation. Fans. Add focus filters. Customize how your apps and device behave when filter inboxes. College. Button. So we have our filter for our inboxes. Add filter. Button. And we can add another filter. So let's try. Cancel. Button. Messages. Filter conversations. Button. A conversation for messages. Filter by, see only the filter by people list. So filter, filter by, by people, people list, list is our option. On. And that will show you messages from only the people in the focus, as well as any conversations you have pinned. See only messages. Add button. Okay, so we'll add that. Focus. And calendar, and they all work box. similar. Add filter. So the one I will show you though is there's another Cancel. section Focus app. Customize Safari. Set tab after room. these apps Button. system filters for system filters. Customize system settings when this focus turns on. And these are for settings. Appearance. Set to dark. Button. You could set dark mode. Low power mode. Turn on. Or low Button. power mode. Appearance. Set to dark. So let's say we Button. want dark mode. In progress. I'll double Setup tap on that. Light. In progress. Set up in progress. In progress. Set up light. But so appearance. Appearance. I'm just trying to see where we are here. Appearance. Selected. Dark. Button. Yes, so we can pick to have it either dark light. Button. or light. Selected. I want dark, dark so we'll leave it on that. Button. And button. top right is add, which I just got to by Focus. flicking. Back button. Messages. Filter conversations. Button. Appearance. Set. Add filter. Button. That's the look at focus and focus filters. Focus, settings. as I said before, Double has always been a feature that I have liked since it was introduced last year with iOS 15, and these enhancements make it even better. All right, well, I hope you found this video helpful. Stay tuned. 
more iOS 16 videos are on the way. Thank you for watching. We hope you have enjoyed this video. If so, please subscribe for more, and feel free to comment. Also, you can follow me on Twitter, at Gallagher123123. Thank you for watching, and we will see you soon.